from Splash News. Here's a perfectly pleasant collection of words. Page 6 delivered tales from Tao Uptown, a club store that played host to Saturday Night Lives after party following the 43rd season's opening night. This was a night of great ratings and viewership 7 million, baby, and of host Ryan Gosling's barely mitigated giggles. This was also a night of subtle statements. Jay's wore a colon keeper Nick Jersey while performing two songs from his latest album, 444. Complimentary jumbo shrimp tempura all around please. These folks deserve it. After the show, it became date night at Tao. Bands reportedly joined Jay at a table with Diddy as well as a Alicia Keys and husband Swizz Beats around 3 a.m. It's a sunrise date, for which one arrives at a place only to close it down at 4 a.m. and then go to a different spot for a slice. The night wraps up with a peek at the sun as it comes up. A New York City classic. Like before sunrise, without Europe, plus pizza, minus Ethan Hawke, plus two of the greatest living artists of our time. Colin Jost, Weekend Update co-host, pulled up in a car with Scarlett Johansson, though she didn't attend the party, reportedly. That's world speed dating, another fine example of New Yorker dating more as quickly executed, efficient, mysterious. But not as mysterious as Eva Mendes, who was simply described as there too. Mendes rarely makes an appearance in the gossip columns, despite being the mother of Gosling's children, but like anyone else, she wasn't going to resist the allure of an SNL after-party, where bands might show up. Let it be known, however, that Mendes was wearing a printed jumpsuit, and the couple held hands on the way in. Don Lemon and his boyfriend, Tim Malone, did the same on the way out, doing what is known as going public. Another traditional date type in which a couple, where one or both are famous declare their love to the world. They've appeared on red carpets together before, from the Tribeca Film Festival to the Glot Awards, but something about holding hands, while looking like you walked out of the same J. Crew catalog delivers the message home to any doubters. Another round of jumbo shrimp tempura is in order. Perhaps most emblematic of dating in this great city, however, were the ones proudly writing solo Emma Stone and Dakota Johnson. Unclear if they are dating anyone specific, but respects must be paid to those carrying the torch of singles partying. Get Vanity Fair's Royal Watch a weekly overview of the chatter from Kensington Palace and beyond.